right, y'all. All right. So let's just get started to the entertainment from a potion type. All right. So, so right here, we just talking uh, on the entertainment portion right here. Um, I just want to know, did anybody check out the Chirac trailer? Anybody in here? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, I saw okay. that. I saw Chicago it. is pretty upset about it. I don't know why. Well, I kind of understand why. It's a little different. When you, well, when you kind of say you're going to write a story about Chicago, um, I didn't think it would be more so women stepping and women kind of like a Greek. It felt like a Greekish thing to me. I don't understand as far as, I mean, is that history of Chicago as far as being Greekish? That's what I thought it was going to be more so of the people, you know, what we're known for and everything like that. But it seemed like it was just, it seemed a little sexual, but it just had, you know, its own little feel to it. So I, I think I might check it out just to see what, like, you know, if I'm missing anything, if there's something more that I can just check out. But I, I honestly know. think I'm going to give it a chance. Spike Lee spoke on it. It is Spike, Spike Lee. Lee Spike Lee spoke on it and said, you know, well, he actually says Chicago shouldn't be so sensitive, which I find to be a little, like, harsh. But I think I'm going to give it a chance. Spike Lee said, you know, give it a chance and see where it goes. Y'all know he, he step up. He do what he's supposed to. Right, right. And, I, you know, I do understand why people here in Chicago will uh, get offended because a person from another state that hasn't lived in Chicago, doesn't know the true meaning okay. and history and the sure. essence of Chicago, you know, they, they upset about that, you know. Opposed to where uh, in Brooklyn when he did do the right thing, we understood, you know, we felt what he was saying and, and we wasn't upset about that. Well, and honestly, I believe Chicago, you know, Chicago should have, uh, you know, the actors, the the directors, the producers, producers here in Chicago, they should have came up with a movie, you know, called Chi Town. Y'all know Chi Chicago Rack. is a little sensitive, a little, they hate a little bit. Well, it's not that. Not like, that it's easy. also, there's, some people were upset about the trailer and it not being about Chicago, but also I heard a lot of people were more so upset with the name. And I thought that was kind of different because, you know, you hear it in the rap, but you know, they say, you know, shout out to Chirac. They say shout out to, you know, they say Chirac a lot. And I did not know the meaning of Chirac. They said what? that Chirac is, um, they say it's kind of like it's derogatory saying that Chirac is uh, equal to Iraq. Iraq yeah. I did not know that. I thought it was like just kind of like a cool ring to it. But I did not know that. So when I kind of, uh, I sat back and I kind of did some research on it. I was like, wow, that's kind of, you know, I can understand how that can be hurtful. And um, I, heard, I know that some like, you know, litigators, as far as who represent the Chicago, wrote some letters to Spike Lee and said, you know, how he felt like y'all just keep on putting us in a bad note. Do y'all feel like Chicago is kind of represented in a bad note as far as like, you know, publicity and, you know, all that other stuff? Or do you think that once again, we being sensitive to the concept? I, I think it's being hyped up in the media, like on a national level, yeah. But, um, I mean, yeah, the media, yeah, it's being hyped up. But I feel like uh, what's going on in this city, the same thing that's going on in a lot of different cities. Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, we have a term. We got a music scene that's kind of popping right now. So that's that's our drill music has become mainstream pop music. So, right. Or to a certain extent, it's become more popular. So it's, it's getting, you know, people more people who are not inside the culture are, are being able to look inside of the culture, get, in, get an inside look into it. And I think just for that, uh, people not really digging Spike Lee making a movie calling it Shot Rack, but then it's not really a movie really about Shot Rack. It's almost um, similar to, I can't remember his name who said it, but he, I think he was saying, uh, who was it, Ron Fest? He was basically saying, like, you know, Spike Lee came in and exploited poor people and the story of the poor people for his own personal profit. But I mean, it's it's a movie, it's not a documentary. Right. right. It's based on an ancient Greek play. Exactly. I heard the yeah, same heard. thing based off a of Greek play yeah. with women who withhold their goods mm -hmm. because of a war that's going on. Right. I don't know if you guys know, but I actually have a friend who started the movement anti Chirac. Why'd I do that? Shout out to you. Mm -hmm. Um the movement the past two years really has taken off, really has made, you know, made history, you can say. So I don't feel like Chirac should have been the name of the movie. It's kind of Kind of I think he did that on purpose. You think it's you more know, so of a location yeah, thing? Because I'm it like, if it is based off of a Greek movie or a Greek play, I'm sorry, because I didn't really know that. Mm -hmm. But I know some people have said that, but you know, I, I really didn't know that. But if it's based off a Greek movie, do you think he should have renamed it from Chirac? Or? No, no, I think no. it was the perfect name. It's, it's, it's about timing. It right. could have been 
at the time, Chicago is the place with the with the hype as being the place where you don't go in the country. Now, had it been New York, or had it been uh, New Orleans, or had it been East St. Louis, it would have been named that place. But it's Chirac now, and plus Chirac's. It's popular, you know what I mean? Why wouldn't you name it Shire? Why would I call it something else? It gets the attention. Yeah. That's his whole yeah. point. I'm and getting I, your attention. I'm going to put you out there. So yeah. And my thing is, like, you know, Shirek, I mean, as far as, like, what the, I didn't mean to say, I mean, Spike Lee. So, mm-hmm. Spike Lee, you know, he's no stranger to controversy. Mm-hmm. So, I know he's going to handle his business, and he's still going to make this movie I and make it pop in, period. And, yeah. you know, to be honest, the black people still going to support him because it's Spike Lee. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows Spike Lee does his thing, so... I mean, I ain't got really much more to say about that, but I don't see how everybody felt about it. I think it's going to be a good movie, though. It seemed like from a trailer, like, this is going to be an interesting movie. So, y'all, this is um, the Power Playlist right here on WindyCityUnderground.com. Your music, your station. You about to listen to Kiki Palmer featuring Kevin McCall right here. Over the weekend on Bravo. So, on the show, she says she wait, gives wait, wait, him... Wait, 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 I have one question. Yes. Who is Toya? Toya, y'all know Lil Toya. Lil Wayne, Lil baby mama. One of them. New Orleans. Toya and Tiny Toya? You ain't heard of Toya? Nah, I haven't. Do you know who Lil Wayne is? No, seriously, of course I know who Lil Wayne is. She's pretty, she's a beautiful woman. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. And she's a gold digger. Know that. She is not a gold digger. No, never. Shay, Shay. Toya, a gold digger, Shay. No, okay. but no shade thrown though. Just, just, just to give that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> just, just, just. So how do you feel? Okay. So she gives Memphis, well, gave him eight hall passes a year. Eight. My. Hall eight. pass to cheat. They married. Now, me being the female here. Mm-hmm. Okay, speak on it. I feel <laughs> like that's a bit much. And that's <laughs> and that is too much. It's a little but over. Did she get hall passes? Did he get her oh, hall passes? Oh, she didn't get a hall pass. She, she he uh, that wasn't it. No, wait. She okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Ashley. What? I, I, I have a question. Yeah. Um, earlier in the year, didn't Memphis um get arrested for something um involving Toya? I mean, cause I, I, I know about the drama with K. Michelle and the, um, you know domestic abuse and yeah. things like that. And K. Michelle's gonna teach a secret. I love her, I love her music, but the girl, listen, no. I, I feel like she won't lie about something like that, but. I, I, I haven't heard about anything with Toya and I'm about to Google Google. Google, 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 let me let me say this. As this mm-hmm. is not from a man or a woman. This is from an individual perspective. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It is up. Mm-hmm. Relationships are they like contracts. Everything's negotiable. It's all about what you say and how you decide you want your relationship to be. If it works for them, then it works for them. It might not work for you. So yeah. it might not work for me. It it's clearly didn't work for them because they did a divorce. There's no hard pass given on my behalf. Okay. Hey, Thank you. Thank I you. just don't think the the cheating like you just just be single you want to cheat you want to do your thing that is perfectly fine right don't have think. to yeah i mean but that like you said it is dependent on the person because if that girl thinks that's cool or she want to you know go ahead i mean that's you that's your bed you laying it but at the end of the day i mean for me especially with marriage i just think you know everybody say oh marriage is sacred marriage is this big you know mm-hmm. union and everything on that what's a union with eight people a year plus <laughs> in your head what is that uh-huh. i never heard of that let me know something like that <laughs> Like that. She's not gonna hit nothing like that. That'll make no I just sense. don't find that to be right. I that's like a marriage like between two people. Like that's mm-hmm. it. I wonder if there's more celebrities that actually do that hall pass. You know what I'm saying? Like, like or, or just I mean, you more know, people who actually food. participate in this foolishness. I don't mm-hmm. understand. Uh, a hall pass. I just. I mean, I heard of the movie. I heard of like, you know <laughs> the, the schemes well, and stuff, but. As far as like it being an actual reality, it kind of just you know, especially for a woman like Toya. I think Toya is so gorgeous. Toya is you know, she she's a, to me she's like a little form of a goddess. I, I can say oh, stuff like okay. that. Okay, all say right, stuff like that. all right. But <laughs> um, I just think that that's you know she she I'm not saying she don't know her self worth, but I think that a lot of that can come from a little insecurity. I would have to say. Yeah, I agree. Right now? I agree. I think I think he get the passes because he got the money, man. At the end of the day, if you got the money, you can get those passes. You can find somebody to allow those passes. 
I'm a, I don't even understand because is he yeah, making enough money to money. deserve all those passes? Is my question. Yeah, she don't. She want to avoid a boxing match because. Uh, <laughs> hey, but, uh, <laughs> I'm saying, they said like the ladies. Sorry. <laughs> do y'all think it's a double standard if a guy? Yes. Yeah. It's a double standard for everything. Yes. If a guy wants right it now, and, and he's like, he's like, you know, I don't want you to have it, but you know, I want the whole pass. You can't have your cake and eat it too. I'm sorry. No, it's not fair. It's, it's not gonna happen. I feel like more that you can. <laughs> I feel like it's sad because once again, it just seems like it's a bad look on the fellas. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, you. I think that. I mean, not think. I know that there has to be someone out there as far as a woman who does the hall pass and does. You know, oh, it's my turn to get my dip on and everything like that. But you probably won't hear that televised. As you, I'm you sorry. Know, if you want that much man. time, you need to be by yourself. You it's just need to. You to, you know, act it out. Maybe that's why she. Maybe she's sick of it. Maybe she over it. You know what I'm saying? So maybe she. She you know done. Benito. Well, <laughs> let, let me ask y'all this question then, since we talking about double standards. Let's say it's the other way around. You got a, you got a, a, a mogul woman, mm-hmm. and she oh. wants to have multiple <laughs> men. Do y'all think it's okay if the men say okay? Uh, of course not. I think that <laughs> I don't think that the man should agree to that either. It's just the fact of you know. You having a monogamous relationship, if y'all together, y'all married. Right. I, 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 that's the thing I guess I'm kind of focusing on. Why are we together married, if you want y'all extra jump the people? Room, like, like <laughs> inviting like eight more people in your bed, I just can't. A year. So that means they could be different. You know what I'm saying? Like, a year, that's a little... Uh, right, and is it the same eight women? Like, is I doubt it. The same? See, I mean, the at the same time, that's, that's the, the thing. Are they eight different people? That's are they eight different instances, occurrences? Like, what does that mean? I mean, like, it could be. Passes? It could be some different women. It couldn't be. I mean, it also couldn't be because you know, because I'm just giving you eight days. Like, player, you know, why wouldn't you go back? Oh, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, you get I'm, that makes a lot of sense. You know, like if a girl like oh, I just did it, you know, with Memphis and stuff like that. You know, oh, next year roll around, <laughs> it's my turn again in May. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I could imagine it being the same girls. But at the same time, I, if another girl be like, I'm tired of that. He got toy in the limelight, and I heard there's more women. Maybe they will stop. It has to be difficult. That's it. it, it pretty it much. It's a math difficult. to this, and only Memphis knows that. So <laughs> Clearly. That's just how I feel about it. You know what I'm thinking though? If this to be Lil Wayne's baby mama, she probably used to being with a man who got a lot of women. That's so she's just true. like, That's probably true. You know? a man of how do you do Lil Wayne got? I know he got Lauren. I know he got Lauren. You know, Lauren. 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 Oh. He got a lot of baby mama. You know he yeah. had a lot. Relatively yeah. speaking. Did he have a baby with Christina Milia? No. No. Okay. Yeah. No, nah, I don't think so. No. Okay. Well, I, know I think he got, got one of the dream though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. But I know he probably, I, I think he got more than one child. Like, yeah, I thought, yeah, I know he got a, like a several. No, I don't really he got a new little curly hair, light skin baby. Yeah, so but I know that. But, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, that, it could be you know, just the aftermath of being abused by men and being you know, like oh, this is what I'm used to. Let me just go ahead and dip in the marriage and do the same thing. But I mean, I think Toya should sit back with her gorgeous self and just think about you know, is this the tea? Is this what I want to do in a marriage? Let's get back to Miss Fox, the most singlest black woman I've ever seen. So before we left, we brought up the situation. She came in 50 a little bit. She, you know, she came tested him, him. Yeah. tested his strength uh, uh, Andy Cohen show. on Andy Cohen's and show. And Andy, I'm telling you, I love Andy, but he messed it. He messed it. He tried, to, he tried to get everybody to answer questions, knowing they got beef, knowing they got problems, everything like that. But uh, he tried to get the juice. But um, he... um. Asked her, she kind of responded in saying that you know, fifty like you know he might be a little gay, <laughs> and you know Candy Byrne sitting next to me like, nah, I don't no tea, no nothing, I want to get into nothing, nothing about that. and everything like that. But you know, it just seemed like to me, Vivica, I love Vivica, that's my girl. I watch all her movies. You gotta know how I am. But um, I think lately with you know her little shade throwing, her little muslin, she ain't been doing too good. You know her and um, who was going against her on the Celebrity Apprentice? Her and uh, Kenya, K- Kenya from Love Housewives. Right. She came they was, in. Uh, also. They they been um, button heads, and now she comes at fifty and Soldier Boy, and they did not take it lightly. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think that's right, man. I don't think it's right. You're in a relationship, you shouldn't talk about the past. And also, hey, I and that's the funny thing, y'all been talking about people who just don't know nothing. I didn't right. know they dated. She came to <laughs> him oh, about didn't. you didn't. I, I did not know they dated. I did not know they dated. Oh, it was I serious. Thought I thought it was fake. I thought it was just something for serious, but it was real. That made me think this whole thing fake. Like, exactly. That's kind of 50. <laughs> this is whole, like, 50 strategy anyway. I, he kind of do his marketing just to take thing, somebody. Like, 50 kind of shady, too. 
You be throwing him a little shade to other shades. Oh, he doesn't say it. It's a read. Oh, no, I mean, read. You think it's a he read? lets it know the, what's the, the deal. difference between shade and read. We found it out today. But, um, you know, so I'm like, you know, maybe that's why they, you know, kind of got along so well because they both, they, they don't hold nothing back. And the funny thing about it is she did make her comment. She said what she said, but she didn't apologize to 50. She only apologized to Soulja Boy wow. over Twitter. And 50 came out on Instagram. Y'all didn't Everybody see Everybody came out on Instagram. He came out of, like, uh, so came out of the boob approval. job. And Freddie wouldn't let her lick his butt, or he did, she did lick her butt. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, my thing is, I mean, not, not to be, you know, too sensitive, but I'm like, whatever happened in the bedroom, I don't think we really necessarily need to know. But the fact that, you know, he brought it up, I guess was because, you know, she tried to blast 50 for, you know, being a, out of, you know, not in the closet, living a secret lifestyle that nobody knows about, but I just think that's because she needs to calm I know, down. I know one thing, she shouldn't have done that uh, plastic surgery. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was not necessary. It was she not was necessary. Right before. She was bad it before. Was. She right. was. I don't know, like that's especially with you know celebrities, they kind of do that too. I think I don't know if y'all know this girl, but Rose McGowan did that too. Like Rose was beautiful. Who's that? She's a white actress. Y'all don't know her. No, what I mean, did she do? She did, did uh, Jawbreaker. She was in Charmed for years. She, oh, uh, yeah. dark hair. Yeah, yeah dark hair. I know she made it like yeah. orange. She had. She was beautiful. And you know now she, she I don't know she was kind of going for the cat look, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, just stenciled on. Who's that, that uh, young lady in uh, Save the Bell? Lark, Save Lark, uh, Lark oh, Boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she did it to so yeah. big time. But she was bleaching. I think yeah, she did it to her. It just took surgery. Downward toll for her. It just wasn't mm-hmm. bad. Man, they just need to go ahead and age. Everybody does it. Everybody does it. They need to go ahead and age. Just let it go. Mm-hmm. Let so I'm just like she, and she looks different. Um, the girl from Save Bell, she does look different. She looks way different. I can tell. I can still tell out, you know, um, Vivica, and um, also Rose McGowan. But uh, that, no, nah, she looks different. It's kind of, you know. I feel like Vivica, and she wanted a reaction. Like she wanted she that. She she, she did it on purpose. She just wanted a little, you know, a little tea. Little tea. <laughs> she just wanted to stir it up. She read what was going. So oh, she I got what she asked for. She got something popping now. No, like, I don't think so right now. I know she's been doing some plays. She's that might be uh, about it. Like she's looking for some publicity yeah. about something. So what she got coming up next? She did you know. say on Andy Cohen that you know they redid Independence Day, but is she it, gonna be in it? Oh, she's in it, but it's like a sequel. Oh, sequel. Yeah, but Will Smith is in it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Mm, follow me at Acting Brand New on. Oh, okay. Facebook, <laughs> Instagram, <laughs> Twitter. Now new Year, acting, New Life. That's Acting A C T I N underscore B R A N D underscore N O U S. All right. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, uh, you can follow me on uh, Instagram equal eight. That's E I G H T. The numeric number eight, replacing the letter E. I G H T. <laughs> At uh, Instagram and uh, Powerman718, and also on Facebook, uh, Equal 8, E Q U A L 8 I G H T, and Powerman718. And thank you for listening to the Power Playlist with, with the crew. WindyCityUnderground.com, your music, your station. All right. Mike. <laughs>